Hello, today I'm going to show you some pop-up books. I just recently got one through the post. Um, currently doing a project at, well, for uni, um, called, uh, it's going to be Red Riding Hood based. Um, so I figured I'd buy as many books that I could about the history and just a contemporary illustration regarding Red Riding Hood. I found a really nice pop-up book by uh, Louis, uh, Louise Rowe, sorry, and um, I just love it, it's really nice. Uh, I, just, I just really like it, it's just a nice book. Um, just fantastic, I really like that. The fact you've got the, uh, you've got the wolf on the side as well. It's a beautiful pop-up book. One of my favourites. See, uh, Grandma, or should we say the wolf in bed? It's a very nice book. I'm not sure about this page, the next page. Um, felt the wolf could have had some eyes. But I'm a bit of a detail freak, I suppose. You know, but nice action like that. Um, looks quite sad. I mean. You know, Huntsman and Wolf's dead in front of the fireplace. It's quite sad. But, you know, all comes okay at the end though. Because Wolf's going away up the hill. Just a lovely book. Really nice. So, uh, Red Riding Hood by Louise Rowe. I highly recommend that. You can pick it up for about seven quid. Quite cheap. Not as intricate as some pop-up books I've seen. Um, but still very good. Uh, this is a good one for, for small children. I think my mum's... My daughter's mum got this. Um, snuffy Little Spooks. Uh, written by AJ Wood and illustrated by Derek Matthews. I really like this one. Um, more animated when you open things. I just, like the witch's nose grows. I, just, I really like that. Um, you know, cat jump, jumping out of a chimney. Ooh. Uh, let's see if I can get this one right. Here we go. Skeleton. Bats, that's quite a cliche, but what the hell, you know. Again, I really like that. I just like that, I don't know why. It's just quite nice. Um, <laughs> well, fair enough. Uh, now this one I, I particularly like. There's no folds in the ribbons. Just very, um, very technical, very well done. And again, you've got slight animation with the eyes opening when you open the, the page. It's nice. Again, with this, I, you've got an animated effect. I really like that. Um, again, really good. And uh, last of all, pumpkin. I'm not sure if you can spot it there. There's a spider in there as well quite nice. Anyway, if you're into uh, pop-up books and you kind of want to have a go yourself, I really recommend this book, um, Design and Paper Mechanics, by a guy called Duncan Birmingham. He actually is, he's a he's an illustration teacher, he teaches. Um, it's a great book, it takes you all through the basics, all the different kinds of folds, um, so you can develop your own ideas, things you need, and you even get templates which you can copy out, photocopy, and make yourself. And there's a nice learning curve as well. So if it's if you have kids, or you're just interesting and in, uh, interested in making pop up, you know, uh, get this book. I highly recommend it. Um, great if you've got small children as well, and it's a rainy day and you're stuck indoors with nothing to do, I highly re recommend make some pop-up books if that's your thing, if you're interested. But again, it goes from uh, it goes from the very simple to the uh, quite intricate. So you get pull, pull tab mechanisms, none of those books had pull tab mechanisms. Um, 
I have got quite a few other pop-up books, but <laughs> I kind of like pop-up books. But again, it goes into bending planes and much later on. Just a very good book. So yeah, if you're into pop-up books like me, I highly recommend getting Pop-Up Design and Paper Mechanics by Duncan Birmingham. It's quite cheap um, and it's just good. It's good, good fun. Okay, take care. Bye.